The federal government provides financial relief during and after hurricanes, tornadoes, and other natural disasters and emergencies, and now has a responsibility to provide relief to state and local governments impacted by the nationwide public health emergency caused by the coronavirus. Right at this moment, essential police, fire, sanitation, and other frontline services are being provided by state and local governments. In days and weeks to come, Congress must approve robust, direct disaster assistance to states, counties, cities, towns, villages, and school districts to prevent insolvency. Democratic leaders recently recommended, and I support, providing up to $1 trillion in assistance to state and local governments. If local governments are unable to provide basic services, whole communities suffer, lowering quality of life and forcing additional job losses. We are interdependent as we confront this crisis. Pitting one aspect of our community against another is self-defeating and hurts our ability to stave off further economic decline. This pandemic demands aggressive action. Congress needs to meet this challenge boldly by providing states and localities the resources they desperately need.